upgrade to a DeWitt's Direct Fit Radiator for superior engine cooling. Follow these steps to install your new radiator and brushless fan kit. Start by draining your radiator of all fluids. Next, remove your upper inlet hose from the radiator and the engine water neck. Then remove the lower outlet hose using a container to catch any remaining fluid. Detach the engine-driven fan shroud and leave it loose. Next, remove the upper and lower transmission cooler lines on the radiator. You can now start unbolting the radiator, lower bolts first, then uppers. The battery and battery box may need to be removed to access the radiator bolts. Loosen the battery hold down and slide it over for access to the radiator. The radiator can now be removed, as well as the old fan shroud. Next, remove the engine-driven fan and any spacers. Unbolt the fan using a socket wrench, and once it's off, replace the bolts. The engine bay is now ready for your new DeWitt's Direct Fit Radiator. Prepare the radiator by mounting the Universal Brushless Fan Kit to it. Start by measuring your core width in the flow direction. Note the molded reference marks in the shroud to help determine your cut line. The Space Age polymer can be cut with numerous cutting tools. Prior to cutting with a bandsaw, stabilize the shroud by screwing a wood spacer to the bottom. Trim the shroud to fit your radiator. Keep in mind the cut can be offset to provide clearance. Now check your fit. The kit includes 12 self-tapping mounting screws for attaching to the radiator and four rubber flaps. The fan connection can be directed to either side for ease of wiring. Lower the new radiator into the engine bay and bolt it in place. Now reattach the lower outlet hose. Connect the upper inlet hose and secure the clamps. Thread the transmission lines into the new radiator and tighten. Once the hoses and lines are attached, install the temperature sensor in the radiator. To begin the fan wiring installation, locate the temperature sensor harness and identify the four wires, black, white, red, and blue. The black wire will be secured to a chassis ground. The white will connect to the other white wire in the fan jumper harness. The red wire attaches to an ignition source that is off when the car is off to avoid draining the battery. The blue wire is an override. It can be used for testing the fan or connecting to a toggle switch as a constant on-off. If your car has AC, it can be used to turn the fan on when the AC is turned on. Next, plug the jumper harness into the fan. The fan jumper harness has its own set of four wires. The black ground wire will be attached to the temperature sensor black wire and both to chassis ground. The large red wire will be attached directly to the car battery positive terminal. The white wire will get attached to the other white wire from the temperature harness. The yellow wire will not be used and can be clipped. Plug the temperature sensor harness into the temperature sensor. Choose your routing of each harness before you attach any wires. Use cable ties to hold them in place. Start by linking the two black ground wires to a ring terminal and attach them to a common chassis ground. The supplied sheath will protect both wires. The larger red wire will attach to the positive battery source. The temperature sensor harness small red wire will attach to a keyed ignition source. Here we tie into an ignition wire that is not powered when the key is off. 
the blue override wire can be used to test the fan or connect it to your AC switch. To test the fan, simply touch it to the positive source on the battery. After a slight delay, the fan will click over and start spinning. To maintain a healthy radiator, use DeWitt's high performance coolant. Now start your engine and check your fluid level, leaving room for expansion. Warm the engine up to temperature and ensure your fan starts at the rated sensor temperature. Now you're ready to ride. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit us at DeWitts.com.